Imagine you walk into a car dealership and you tell the salesman that you want a car that is safe, handles well in the snow and carries a lot of cargo. Then, after a few minutes, the salesman returns with a shiny red two-seater sports car. You say to the salesman, that car can't possibly be safe. He then proceeds to tell you that the sports car comes equipped with roll bars, which will protect you if the car rolls over. However, those roll bars come at an extra price. Then you ask, certainly this car doesn't handle well in the snow, does it? He replies, of course it does, and explains that the car comes with two sets of tires, summer and winter. But the winter tires are going to cost you extra. Finally, you remind him that you needed a car that will carry plenty of cargo. Ah, yes, he says, and shows you the trailer hitch that attaches to the car. But once again, this will cost you extra. Feeling frustrated, you get up and walk out of the dealership. And as you do, you notice the sign on the front door, and it reads, Sports Cars Are Us. Now, can you really blame the salesman for trying to sell you a sports car if it's all he sells? Of course not. If you think about it, you went to the wrong dealership. More importantly, did you really get the car that you wanted? One that's safe, handles well in the snow and carries a lot of cargo? Or did you get a sports car that's jerry-rigged maybe into something you wanted, not really, and at a significant extra cost? So as pre-retirees and retirees begin to look for dependable income through non-stock market-based conservative investment vehicles, it stands to reason that the last person they would seek counsel from is an advisor with a stock market-based business model. However, it happens every single day, and those retirees end up putting their money into variable annuities or other risky investments at the advice of their advisor without truly understanding their limitations or the fees associated with them. Most prudent investors know that variable annuities contain sub-accounts that look and smell a lot like stock mutual funds and thus have significant market risk. However, to mitigate those risks, most variable annuities have the option of providing jerry-rigged living guarantees just like the snow tires, roll bars, and cargo rack in the form of income riders. But of course, those income riders are going to cost you extra, often as high as 2 to 3% a year. Oh, and by the way, that's not including the sub-account fees. Part of the reason advisors with stock market-based business models like variable annuities is that they get to use their beloved mutual funds and still provide the clients some protection, just like that roll bar on the sports car offers some protection. But the reality is those advisors don't have the proper income generating tools in their toolbox, and if they do, they certainly don't know how to use them. The problem is, if you decide to take income from a variable annuity during a time the stock market has a downturn, you're now in the unfortunate position of having to sell more shares from the sub-account to maintain your current level of income. Most advisors would agree that having their clients engage in this practice we call reverse dollar cost averaging to maintain a stream of income during retirement is never a good idea. With so much uncertainty about the markets and which advisor's business model best suits your retirement needs, you may feel overwhelmed by all the decisions that need to be made. Our clients take comfort in knowing that we specialize and focus our efforts in helping them navigate through the complexities of planning and living in retirement. Call us today or visit our website to schedule a free consultation with one of our advisors.